Hello, my name is Sander van Vught, and in this video I want to show you how to get started with Oracle Virtual Box. The purpose of this video is to help you uh, getting started with any of my Linux courses. If you want to learn Linux, it's a good idea to install Linux in a virtualized environment. Oracle Virtual Box provides virtualization for free. In order to use it, you need to go to virtualbox.org. In virtualbox.org you can see a download that corresponds to uh, any of these four platforms. In this video I will show you how to do it on Windows, but virtualbox is available for Mac OS X, for Linux distributions, as well as for Solaris hosts. So just pick the version that you need and start downloading it. Uh, if you want to use virtualbox, you probably also want to install something in it. And that could be a Linux distribution. For my courses, the most useful Linux distribution is CentOS. If you go to centos.org and you follow the download link, you get to a list of mirrors. And I would advise that you click any of the mirrors in your environment, uh, which is a mirror that should be close to you and should bring you the software uh, fast enough. I'm not going to do that now because to save us some time I've already done it and the files that I need are already in my download folder. I will show you shortly. Uh, apart from CentOS, which is kind of the free version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and does not include any of the Red Hat branding, uh, you could also consider going to developer.redhat.com. If you go to that website, it's developers with an S by the way, if you go to that website and if you log in, uh, you can uh, download Red Hat for free. The good news about developers.redhat.com is that it allows you to create a developer uh, subscription for free. So you need to uh, find your way on the website, you go to the products, uh, then you go to Red Hat Enterprise Linux where you can see the different downloads that are available and you scroll down and you can see, uh, oh that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.7. .7. Uh, we want to use the complete list so that we can find the version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, that you want to use. The advantage of the developer version is that you always get access to the most recent uh, version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which would be RHEL 8 uh, at this time. I already downloaded the Red Hat distribution as well, so let's go to the downloads folder so that I can show you how to install it. So I'm going to use VirtualBox 6.0.10. The version number doesn't really matter, even if you would be on an older version, that would be okay. The installation of VirtualBox is quite easy. So just double click it and then you go through the simple wizard which is basically next, 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 yes and install. And at the end of the procedure uh, you will have VirtualBox installed on your computer. So Oracle VirtualBox installation is complete, so we can start Oracle VirtualBox after installation. Sounds like a good idea, let's just do that. And here is Oracle VirtualBox. Uh, let me just clean from, uh, let, let me just start from a clean environment. So I'm removing the virtual machine that I created before and then this is what you should see. The main VirtualBox interface. In this interface, uh, you need to click new and then it's going to ask you what you want to do. Well, I want to create my CentOS virtual machine. You can see that just by typing CentOS, uh, it finds the type Linux and the version Red Hat 64 bit. And all of that is uh, quite okay, so we can click next. Uh, then it asks how much memory you want to dedicate to the virtual machine. At least make sure that you dedicate one gigabyte. Anything below might uh, work, but will be really slow, so you don't want to do that. Uh, then it asks what you want to do with the virtual hard disk. That is the hard disk that will be presented to the virtual machine. And on your Windows computer, that will just be a big file that is created. And I want to create a virtual hard disk right now. The hard disk file type doesn't really matter, so just accept the default and then it's asking if you want to dynamically or uh, fixed allocate. Dynamic allocation means that you don't consume all of the disk space that you are reserving uh, right from the beginning. 
uh, that is more efficient regarding available storage, but it's uh, also a little bit slower. If you want your virtual machine to be as fast as possible, you would select fixed size. But be aware that if you go for a fixed size, you will need to wait for a couple of minutes so that the disk size can be allocated. I do advise you to go a little bit above the 8 GB that is installed as uh, a default. I would advise you to use 20 GB and that gives you a nice usable uh, environment. So here is the virtual machine, but there is one thing that is missing and that is right here. In storage you can see optical drive empty. We need to tell the virtual machine uh, what to install from. So I go to this link and I am using choose disk image. Choose disk image brings me to this interface where I can go to the downloads folder and on the downloads folder I can select my CentOS 1810 for instance. I click open and then we can click start. And from this moment on, the Oracle Virtual Machine uh, is going to be started. And as you can see, this is the installation of CentOS. So I need to select install CentOS 7 and from there the CentOS installation uh, will be started. Uh, I hope uh, to see you in one of my video courses for more details about the installation of CentOS or Red Hat or, or whatever uh, itself. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.